Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm doing a quick video. Just want to show you some hidden features on the ZTE Avid. And the first one, really simple, is going to be a uh, just how to get to the settings really quickly. And, and literally it's just, if you're on the home screen, just hold down the screen and tap settings right there at the bottom. And that fast, um, that's how you quickly get to your settings to make adjustments. So. You just have to be on your home screen. It won't work if you're in an app. Got to be on the home screen, but I thought that was really cool. There's no settings button, so shortcut there. Our next uh, hidden feature is going to come, um, and really it's just more of like, how do you uh, uh, customize your home screen? How do you make changes? How do you make the phone unique to you? And uh, to do that, same thing, we're going to hold down the center of the screen, and then we're going to tap on these three dots right here. And now this brings up this big menu of things you can change from the way it scrolls, how it transitions the screens, some blur effects, how to make your icons larger, um, all kind of cool stuff. So I love this and it just really allows you to take customizing your phone to the next level. Even if you're trying to set the phone up for someone older, this is a great uh, place to make some adjustments to make it better for anyone. So that's going to be our second little hidden feature right there. And let's jump into our third one, which you're going to find in the calling app. So we're just going to go to the phone. And from there, we're going to go to uh, menu. And menu is going to be in the upper right corner of these three dots. Tap on there. And then settings. And then we're going to go to general settings. And then quick response, which you're going to find at the bottom here. And so these are the responses when someone calls you and you can't talk. Um, there's an option uh, that you can uh, pull up and you can send them a quick response text message. It says, hey, you know, can't talk right now. What's up? Or I'll call you back later or whatever. But maybe you don't like these presets and you want to change it, customize it more to how you talk. All you do is just hold down on it and then it'll let you change it. So then you could type in, you know, I don't know. Um, Leave me alone. It could be someone maybe you don't want to talk to and you want to sit in that or it's like, oh, sorry, you know, call me tomorrow or whatever. So I thought that was kind of cool. I wanted to show that. That's our uh, next hidden feature. Let's jump to our fourth one, which um, is called screen pinning. And what this does is it'll allow you to basically hold your phone on one particular app. Uh, especially like, let's say you want to, or someone's like, Hey, can I use your phone to make a phone call? And you don't want them going through pictures and all your other stuff on your phone. So this is when you would use a screen pin. So like the first thing you do is open the app that you want to show them or that you want to pin and then hit the home button, close it, and then tap on the button to the right. And then if we swipe up, you're going to tap on this little pin right here. And what that does is it'll pin to the screen. Now, if I hit the home button, it doesn't change anything. They can't get out of this app. They can hit this, they can hit that. They could turn the phone off or put it to sleep, turn it back on. It still is locked on the same screen. So the benefit of this is you don't have people roaming around your phone, messing with things you don't want them to mess with. Now, the way you get out of it's really simple. You put one finger on this button and one finger on this button and then it deactivates it and now we can get out of it that easy. So I always love that um, and everybody should know how to do that because you know someone's always trying to say they want to do one thing and then they end up in another app and you're like, dude, what are you doing? So that's that. Uh, our next and last hidden feature is, um, this is more of a stock Android thing but everybody doesn't know about it and that's why I still include it in these videos. It is a really cool hidden game that's built into the phone. So if you just hold down your home screen, go to settings, and go all the way to the bottom of the phone where it says about phone. And then we're going to go to Android version. And if you tap on it, it actually opens up a hidden game, which is um, the lollipop game. And then we just tap on lollipop. And then we get this cool game. So this game is, um, it's built into all Android phones. It's not exclusive to ZTE, but it's really fun. It's like Android's version of Flappy Birds. I guarantee you it is 
a really hard game so if you've got some time to kill this is definitely the game to do it you you will get frustrated because trying to get this stupid android thing look i got one right there trying to even just get one is hard as heck so like look oh, i got two even two is like took me like days to do that so anyway guys this has been the hidden features of the zte avid i hope you did find them helpful and you learned some new stuff make sure you like the video favorite it and share it with anyone you know that has this phone and uh check out our other new video coming it's going to be the zte avid tips and tricks and we'll go over some other cool things uh you'd love to know about this awesome phone so thanks for watching guys um take care and as always have a good one